certain spots, Lainey. What are you looking at? Well, we do have some showers out there, Brandon. You know, we've had a good bit of cloud cover for a large part of the day, and that's kind of kept us maybe a touch more stable than the folks just slightly to our south and east. Did you notice some of that dust out there over the weekend? You may pick up some of it here on our camera at Sourtown Mountain. We definitely have some of the dust from the Saharan Desert overhead right now, some particulate matter that's causing a little difficulty in breathing for folks that have a tough time with that. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. Visible satellite picture today shows you some of the clouds blowing up just to our south. That's where we have the most intense storms for Charlotte, back toward Greenville, Spartanburg, and also Raleigh. Here is where we have the dust. and You can see it is all across the Carolinas showing up there in orange. We also have, as a result, an air quality alert. It's up until midnight tonight. We do expect to see some improvement with the dust situation as we head into tomorrow. But with that air quality quality alert, what we're talking about is sensitive groups, folks that have heart and lung issues, uh, the senior citizens, teens, children. If you spend a lot of time outdoors with that particulate matter out there, it can make it pretty difficult to breathe. I myself went out for a run here over uh, yesterday and noticed just a little bit more difficulty out there myself. Now we are going to see some improvements tomorrow and then definitely by Tuesday and Wednesday our air will improve. And this is a forecast model that actually shows you the movement of the dust. It's really interesting, isn't it? Notice how it's clearing out into the afternoon tomorrow and then we actually actually get even more clearing as we move into Tuesday, but it's not all gone. We'll have to continue to monitor this throughout the week. So our air quality should improve some. We're going to stay warm this week. Temperatures are in the upper 80s. We also have storms in our forecast. You can see 88 for Monday and Tuesday. Temperatures also in the upper 80s Wednesday and Thursday. Our high this afternoon was 87 degrees. And the numbers right now have come down some because we have had some rain in places. 82 in Greensboro, 85 in Asheboro. We've got temperatures in the low 70s from Galax, Sparta to North Wilkesboro. Here's what the radar looks like right now at the top of the newscast. We talked about this. Nothing real intense in our area, but this one has been strengthening. So it does have some gusty winds, some lightning, and some heavy rain. It's moving out of Davidson County into southern Randolph County. And these are the communities where we may see an isolated severe storm pop. So if that one continues to strengthen, maybe a warning goes up for it. But if you do hear thunder in that area, just go ahead and seek safe shelter indoors. We've got rain too from Winston-Salem South down toward High Point. Another little shower that is moving into our mountain communities right now. And you can see where we have seen rain today, kind of trails of just a few thunderstorms. And I talked about this at the top of the newscast. One of the storms in Alamance County had some strong winds and did take down some trees. The warnings right now are to our south and to our east. And actually, I think that's where we're going to see most of the activity tonight. But we are in that area. You notice the storm reports have been up over the Ohio River Valley. So nothing really in our area just yet. But we'll keep a close eye on it between now and midnight. If we do have storms, we have a threat for maybe some damaging wind gusts to come from any storms that do push through. If they move slowly, maybe some heavy downpours cause some flash flooding. Notice the forecast map. It shows you at least some showers continuing overnight into early tomorrow morning. During the day tomorrow, we're going to have partly sunny skies. Good bit of cloud cover. It will be warm, but it also looks like it's going to be drier tomorrow afternoon. So very isolated showers and storms. Only a 20% chance with a high of 88 degrees tomorrow in the triad. We're up to 87 tomorrow afternoon in the foothills. We also have mainly cloudy skies in the mountains with those temperatures close to 80. Here's a look ahead at this week. I think it's fairly dry Monday and Tuesday. Best storm chances right now look to be Wednesday and Thursday, and unfortunately, we could be dealing with thunderstorms on the 4th of July.